All right, so yesterday we did lesson 11. We went through it together, and I gave you some problems from your problem set and asked you to circle them, and you've been working on them today. So let's talk about a few of those. So, and some of the things also that we talked about yesterday. When we're writing a sentence to explain our answer, or to make a statement about our answer, what part of the original problem helps us to tell our answer using the correct words and context that's in the problem? What can we use from our problems, from a word problem, to make a statement or a sentence that tells the answer and what the answer represents? Harper? We can use a tape diagram to help us solve, but I'm talking about when we're writing about our math. We're writing about what we've done. What's our first sentence that's a statement? What can we use to write that statement to make sure that we're t using the correct words and the correct context from the problem? The very first sentence. Yeah, so where are we going to, what can we use in the problem to help us know the person's name or whatever it's talking about? Where is it going to tell us what we're looking for in the problem? What's that called? If I'm reading a math problem, if I'm reading a math problem, so let's just look at number two on the back. It says, in September, Liberty Elementary School collected 32,537 cans for a fundraiser. In October, they collected 207,492 cans. How many cans were collected during September and October? What part of that question, that problem, can I use in my first sentence that's a statement to make sure that I include everything. What can I do, Ansley? Um, the first thing you can do is Liberty Elementary School. Yeah, okay, so Liberty Elementary School, what? <clears throat> what about them? What did they do? They collected, um, they collected cans. Yeah, so we can use the question. Let's read that question together. Everybody put your finger on the question in number two. Let's read the question together. How many cans were collected during September and October? So we can use that question and turn it into, we can restate it or reword it as a statement or a sentence that tells us something and include the answer. So we could have something like, Liberty Elementary School collected 240,029 cans during September and October. Would that be a good statement? Yeah. Yeah, we use our question to go back and make our statements. That way we make sure that we include everything. All right. So now let's talk about that tape diagram. Harper said something while I go about a tape diagram. What purpose... Does a tape diagram have? What's its job, Harper? Well, um, it's it's for um supplying the two numbers. Okay. And um, and to add the whole. Okay. Just a variable. Yeah, so it's just a model or a visual representation to show us the different parts that we have in our problem. So, in the three problems, the three word problems on the back that you worked, we knew the parts and what was missing. What did we have to find? You knew each part and we had to put them together to find the answer, the answer or the total. Okay? Sometimes in problems, do you get the total and you have to find one of the parts? Does that happen? Sometimes we know what the total is, but we have to find a missing part. So tape diagrams can help us do those things. Okay?
I gave you a vocabulary word yesterday. That's a letter that represents, and all that letter does is it represents a missing part or an unknown part. Does anybody remember what that vocabulary word is? Um, variable. What is it? Variable. Variable. Everybody say it with me. Variable. Va variable. I said Very good. It. I, I said it. Good job. A variable is just a letter. Does it matter what letter I use? No. no, I can use any letter I want to as long as the problem doesn't tell me differently. I can use any letter I want to to represent the part that I don't know or the missing part that I'm looking for to get my answer. All right. So I've got one more question for you before we go on. When we record or write down a number that we're regrouping, when we're adding and we have to regroup, how is that related to using place value disks? How's it related, Christopher? Because um, it's because it's when you put down a place value disk, if there's a bunch of disks in there, like 10 disks, mm -hmm. you can circle them and then draw an arrow to um, put it over it in the next like exactly. Right. Well, <laughs> exactly. So when we're using place value disks, Christopher said if we have 10, if there's enough to make a group of 10, then we bundle those together and we move them over to the next larger place value. And that's the same thing that we do whenever we're just writing the numbers is we take those that group of 10 that we can bundle together and we move it over to the next place value. All right, very good. Any questions about what you did on lesson 11? Okay, that's all right. All right, let's, t let's go through really quickly and check your answers on the back. On number two. So I've already told you that number two... If I add my parts, 37,537 and 207,492, you should get a total of 240,029. Okay. All right, the second one, number three. Wait, what was number two? Number two, the answer is 240,029. All right, number three. It says, a baseball stadium sold some burgers. Do we know how many burgers they sold? Yeah. Nope, they just sold some, right? They doesn't tell us. 2,806 were cheeseburgers. 1,679 burgers didn't have cheese. How many burgers did they sell in all? So I know the part with cheese. I know the part without cheese, and I'm missing the total. So if I put those two parts together, there was a total of 4,485 burgers sold. Yes. 4,485. And then the last one, number four. On Saturday night, 23,000. 748 people attended the concert. On Sunday, 75,000, I'm sorry, 7,570 more people attended the concert than on Saturday. How many people attended the concert on Sunday? So what do I do to find that? What do I do, Ansley? I have to add um, 23,748 and 7,570. Exactly. So when I add those two parts together, I get a total of 31,318. So 31,318 people attended the concert on Sunday.